Better late than never. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, we are going to profile ticket symbol JMIA, Jumia Technologies. This is the e-commerce platform for the African market. So before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So Jumia Technologies is the um, e-commerce platform for the African market. And this year alone, the stock has been doing really great. Uh, one of my great friends, uh, Kevin Foy, actually reached out to me and mentioned this stock and I was too late to get to it or I just got too busy, never got around to review it. But here we are, better late than never. So I'm actually doing a review right now for two reasons, because uh, the African uh, market e-commerce space is still very, very on tap. And also because I'm African, I should be talking about this because I think it helps the continent. So let's jump right in and take a look at the company and just see exactly where they are headed and see maybe there's opportunity here for investors. So here we go, guys. This is Jumia. Again, this is Jumia website. I'm just going through it. So the company right now operate in three key areas. The first one is Jumia Marketplace, second is Jumia Logistics, and the third one is Jumia Pay, which if you look at their investor presentation here, uh, these three key, uh, key areas, Jumia uh, Technology allows uh, people to be able to you know buy and sell on the marketplace and if you look at the Jumia logistics people can recharge their data plan people can book a flight people can find hotels and then Jumia pay, uh, payments actually allow people to be able to order stuff like pizza or pay their their bills so if you look at this compare this to something like Alibaba in China which they do exactly the same thing so I think they're trying to model that uh, Alibaba business model in China, they're trying to model it in the African market, which I think uh, is a great idea because the African market is still very, very untapped. A lot of people are still not seeing the potential there. So the fact that these guys are jumping in um, gives that marketplace uh, a great opportunity for them as a company to go in and establish and just understand the landscape so that when it comes to uh, when they start generating revenue, this will be excellent for them. So again, we're just going to take a, a detailed look at some of the the, the, the the values here that I see with Jumia. So let's jump back here and I'm going to show you guys. So right now, Jumia has about 6.1 million active customers and um, active sellers, they have about 110K active sellers. That's not a whole lot if compared to the population of Africa. Uh, the population is huge but yet a lot of people still don't have access to some of the services so as the continue the, the continent continues to to expand and technology continues to infiltrate the continent you're going to see more and more people getting onto these platforms so right now gross uh, merchandise value of about 1.1 billion euros so let's and right now jumia is only available in 11 african countries you're talking about a continent that has um, 55 different countries and now only 11 are on here and so imagine that just half of these countries were on here uh, it would make tremendous amount of difference from their revenue it would go a lot higher so uh, as of when we're doing this video Jumia is currently trading at about over I think over $35 they actually hit about $40 and then pull back a little bit so the current market cap is almost three billion dollars so 2.99 so i'll round that up to three billion dollars but again guys the thing that I'm, I'm actually looking here is the fact that only 11 african countries are currently uh using this platform so out of 55 imagine that half get on this platform there's huge uh, again massive massive potential we've seen this uh, you see you look at like amazon that represent Af uh, uh, america and maybe some europe uh, uh, countries if you look at alibaba that represents um asia and china if you look at uh is it Mesodo Libra, which is represent South America? This is just their own e-commerce platform. So if you go to uh, South America, you would see this platform is huge uh, down there. So from Mexico to Brazil to all the other uh, South American countries use this particular platform. So again, 
uh, Jumia comes in the picture in this case to kind of uh, bridge that gap that Africa has always been left behind. So what I'm seeing here from uh, you know from an investor standpoint, I know that uh, just this past month, look at this. This is September. This is September. Um, that's August. So this is about September 9. So from September 9, this stock was under nine dollars. And then fast forward to November 25th. This stock actually hit about $36 or $38 for, for a high. So that is crazy, crazy movement. Again, I'm looking at this stock from a long-term perspective. I'm not just looking uh, the short term. Long-term perspective is that the African market, again, in my opinion, is still very, very, uh, um, you know, on the surf. So if these guys are coming in and providing uh, a platform that people can start leveraging technology to increase sales, to just, again, make payment a lot easier because i look at ali uh, baba in in china today most people don't even use cash you go to the food market you see a grandma or grandpa selling there selling some fresh tomatoes they want you to pay using your cell phone they don't want you to give them cash because first it's risky them carrying that cash around somebody can easily snatch it so they prefer you pay them using payment so alipay has actually come in and helped them so this going in that space in the african market too i think that's something that a lot of people are going to benefit from you know when you talk about this jumia pay overall for me what i see long term is that uh, uh, jumia is going to uh, go through some ups and downs it's not just it's not going to be a smooth ride anticipate maybe a pullback here if you're looking to get in anticipate a pullback here and you might see some short sellers are going to come out and call them out and say this thing is not really working it's not super profitable they're going to give some reasons to expect a pullback but to me what i see is long-term picture uh, expect that they're going to do the groundwork they're going to infiltrate that market set the base the, the base work they were a bigger investor can come in so you're looking at companies like amazon you're looking at alibaba they can come in and be investors or even want to buy jumia out because i mean think about it if amazon wants to buy jumia today they can easily the company right now is valued at what three billion dollars amazon can just show up tomorrow and even quadruple that amount and, and pay them and take that company because already they have the infrastructure there so amazon can come take that so those are the potentials i'm looking here just as a company they have room to grow if they can bring in all the other African countries, uh, all 55 of them on board, man, this company would go from a $3 billion company to at least a 30, 40, $50 billion company. And then imagine that if somebody like Amazon wants to come in and bring in their logistic services that they have, their payment services that they have that is highly integrated and, and, and expose that to the African market, I think people can start shopping globally. People can shop from, you know, from Africa. You can shop uh, in the United States. Uh, from Africa, you can shop all around the world. Uh, from the United States, you can buy things in Africa and, and give it to your family or send it to friends. So there is huge, uh, again, amount of potential here. So don't look at this as an immediate growth stock. Look at this as a long-term growth stock. I personally would be investing in this company uh, for the long haul. I'm not investing in it because because I want to see some growth. So I'm not going to buy a huge amount of shares. I'm going to buy just enough amount of shares that I feel comfortable with and to hold them for the long run and see where this goes. This might be, again, if they call it the Amazon of Africa or they call it the um, Alibaba of Africa, look at where the stocks are trading right now. Amazon over $3,000, Alibaba right now over $250. So even if this stock goes up to $100 or $150, that is still a tremendous amount of returns. And but to me, the sky is the limit. And I think that this, this stock has room for growth. But you have to be patient. Be ready to go through the ups and downs and not panic because um, again, this is an emerging market. There's so many things to bring other comp uh, other countries on board. It's not going to be an easy task. You have 
countries that speak different languages, different cultures, everything, if to bring them on board, it's gonna take a little bit, but as they're slowly, uh, um, they're slowly adding these, comp these other countries, I see the, the, the stock growing, I see revenue growing, and I see a huge investor coming in and trying to be part of this journey. And it's gonna be a good story, right? If let's say Amazon buys uh, Jumia and bring maybe the Amazon service to Africa. It's a great story to investors. People are gonna to love to hear that. Amazon will say, hey, we brought them, we exposed the, the Africa market to everybody. People can tap their potential there. And um, also people in Africa can shop and buy goods and services all around the world, uh, specifically in the United States. So again, that's my take. I might be a little bit emotional about this just because I'm African, but I, I think uh, just from an investment standpoint, I see um, huge potential here. So let me know in the comment section, what do you think about this stock? Do you currently own it or was this on your radar? If, if anything, again, guys, I wanna hear what you think about it. And as always, always do your homework. Don't be a greedy savage and stay motivated.